Okay, so we've just heard Hungary's second rehearsal, um, Josie, Papi, uh, and Urjo. Um, overall, I'm not a fan of the song at all. Um, the the song is a mix of uh, an ethnic sort of vibe along with sort of an attempt at rapping. Um, the stage is, uh, is red, they do have some um, pyrotechnics um, that do add an element to it and he does have a, um, a dancer in white and he's wearing black of course because this is the white and black contest. Um, but the um, overall it doesn't really do much for me, it doesn't lift the song in any way. Um, so my feelings are pretty much the same as they were before. Um, she just falls about on the stage. Um, and doesn't really add much to the, the performance. Um, what did you think? Yeah, this, I'm very, really mixed up about this this entry. Um, really because of the fact it does, with Celebrate Diversity, which is the logo this year, yes, the dancer, the, the fiddler, it, and the, the, the weird looking kettle that he's banging on, banging on which, <laughs> is, which is real Eurovision. But listening to the lyrics and actually translating them, they mention God heavily in it and also guns. So again, this is another kind of a bit of a political song again, i.e. like Ukraine last year. So this could do well. But unfortunately, I'm very mixed about it. And it does say celebrate diversity in the performance, but listening to the lyrics and actually translating them and reading them yourself, you do kind of wonder whether this is too much for Eurovision. Who knows? I, I don't think it will qualify and I'm a little bit disappointed actually in uh, Hungary as a whole because they have been stepping up their um, songs over the past yeah, years. with Freddie with last year. Uh, and this, this is sort of a step backwards for mm. them.